This old shed is actually in pretty good shape. It needs a new roof and a new window, but it's built with two by sixes. It's roughly 12 feet by 12 feet. It's just in a terrible spot. I would like to move it from where it is here down the hill to where the tiny house is being remodeled. And if I can do that, this will be my office. Yeah, it does kind of lean on these posts here. Going backwards? Yeah. Okay. We need to slide those skids underneath, which is basically just two eight inch diameter logs underneath. We need to get them stabbed into place, just two of them. That way they're going the same direction, just like skis you go, like you downhill ski with. We're sticking with the same plan to put these long logs under there as skids to drag it on. And we need to tip up this uphill side so that we can get the skids underneath there because that's where the shed is like sitting on the dirt. But this morning when I'm looking at, I have a slightly different plan to, to get these underneath here. Because it's on these three beams and this middle one is almost exactly center, theoretically, if I knock one side out, it should almost exactly balance on that middle beam. And then I'll have a new pivot point from which we can tip it, right? That sounds sketchy and I don't want it to fall down the hill, even just a couple of feet, because I'm trying to maintain this thing's integrity. But what if I put some cinder block here at just left of the middle, then I can knock out this left hand downhill side. And it should theoretically balance right at that like two thirds point. I don't know. I've had crazier ideas before. All right, I positioned one of those logs by hand and now the toe strap goes all the way up underneath the shed so I can come to the top side and drag that log into place. But if I do that, I'm gonna hit the building with the rope. So I might have to tip it now before the logs are underneath and hope for the best. Okay, you've got that. Can I go look to make Yeah, cause we can't, I can't even let go of it, so. At this point, I don't know if I wanna trust it just to drop down on those cinder block. I don't. Nailed it. Glad we tied it up to the cat though. That would have gone down the hill. Yep. Yeah. I'm hitting dirt now. And the log is just getting thicker. We hit Hold a up. You pull again. Ready? Yep. Go. So we're turning our around so that it shifts the building away from the wellhead. Oh, 
back there. You were here. Yeah. You were here. I it was in showing cast. Like you were out there, you were here. That's and now you're here. Stuff. Yeah. Okay. And we're still good to see how far it gets over. We still have three feet. We don't have to worry about it. Moving over even more. These guys are fantastic. You guys are doing a great I job. <laughs> My bucket's dropping. The hydraulics on this thing are, are leaking. But it's down the hill. It needs to go in this corner. This is the back side of it. And I'm gonna try and get that side in so that the door is on this side. It's 10 by 12. And I want the 10 foot wall to go here and then the 12 foot wall to go that way. Cause I don't think it'll fit as well with the 12 foot wall here. Regardless, we're gonna try to turn it and push it in. So I've got a strap here on the back of my skid and I'm gonna try to lift the back and then just turn the whole thing. I'm not gonna push the front side over. I can totally use the machine back here if I move this shed, which I was planning on moving all this anyways, so there's no better time than right now. I'm still on my skids. If I can pull this one over and tie these together again, I think I can lift this and drag it back about halfway and then drive the machine out where this shed is. And then once it's halfway, then maybe I can ratchet it back another like six feet because it doesn't have to go all the way to the fence. It just has to go far enough back that it's out of my driveway over here. All right, so I actually stayed out here after dark last night to push this into place. It worked great, and then at the last second, the cat died on me. So I have my Jeep on the Caterpillar charging the battery today to get this thing just out of the way. I'm kind of done with it. Right now, I want to get the ratchet on the building and pull it closer to that oak tree over there because it's a little to one side right now, but it's just about where I want it to sit. I think I have everything I need. I have a bunch of concrete block. I have the ratchets, the straps, the shovels, and a level. I'm just gonna try to get this thing to sit down onto some block where it's at. You know, just, yeah, just grab the little one. Uh, not too far, we can't get my block out. Yeah, let's just try that. Go down. Okay, stop, stop. Uh, you're doing perfect. Check your level over there. Mm, we're like looking really good, even just this one. Just about an inch, uh, half inch. And you're kissing right now. Yeah, if we were like a frack, tiny bit high here, so if we slide a block under and set it on the block, we'd be level. All right, so it's completely level. 
I limbed up the trees around it because some of the branches were touching the roof. We haven't really touched the inside of this thing. My wife swept it out earlier today, but we're not able to do any renovations on the inside of this right now. We just don't have the time or money for that. But now that it's in place where it's gonna go long term, I can use it temporarily for storage. So a bunch of this stuff that we have on the ground here that we're using for construction on the tiny home can go in here. So is it a huge space? No. Will I put it to really good use? Yes. Like I've said before, you guys viewing and sharing and commenting under these videos is what keeps these videos coming. So thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.